The community gathered today to help support local senior citizens. The Bay County Council on Aging hosted their annual fall festival fundraising event. News 13's Jenna Maddox has more on what leaders say was a successful day. It's just great to have everybody come out and enjoy a fun day. The Bay County Council on Aging held their annual family favorite fall festival fundraiser on Saturday. This is the first time in two years the event has been held due to the pandemic, but they say this may be the biggest turnout ever. I love that the turnout is so great. We have so many people here. Beth Collette, the CEO of the Bay County Council on Aging, says she enjoys being able to help out the older generation in the community, especially through events like these. I feel very humbled and very blessed to be able to help seniors to stay at home in their own home, in their own community, with their own families, and to avoid uh, institutional placement or nursing home placement. And sometimes all they need is just a little bit of help uh, to be able to be independent and to choose where they want to live. This is the 38th year the Council on Aging has held the festival fundraiser. Some of the activities held at Saturday's festival include a pancake breakfast provided by the Kiwanis Club, an opening ceremony by Mosley High School's JROTC, car raffles, silent auctions, and a chicken dinner. And it's all for an important cause. Every dollar we raise, we get $9 from the federal government and grants to provide services to senior adults in the community. Some of those services include Meals on Wheels, respite care, and in-home services for senior citizens. For more information on how you can help out with the Bay County Council on Aging, you can visit our website, mypanhandle.com. In Panama City, Jenna Maddox, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Marsh also says the organization raised thousands of dollars just from the car raffle alone.